Well, hello everyone, this is Dave Strong from the Schmidt Music Saxophone Shop, and today we're going to talk a little bit about reeds, and particularly reed strength. And even more particularly, what is the best reed strength for you? Now you see these numbers on reeds, whether it says two, two and a half, three, three and a half, or even up to four, and there are even softer or even harder reeds than that. But let's talk a little bit about what that means and how it can affect your playing. Even though on all three of these reeds the cut is the same, meaning they're cut the same way, they're going to feel very different. And that's what that reed strength is. It has to do with the flexibility of the cane. Now, because cane is something that grows out of the ground, every piece is going to have a little bit of different density, a little different uh, flexibility of the material. And if you notice when you play a reed, it starts getting softer as it wears out usually as well. Now, when I have a two reed, that means it's very flexible. It means it's, very, it's, it's easy to get it to bend, and therefore pretty easy to get it to make an initial sound. And that's why when you're beginning, you often start on a two or a two and a half. As we move higher into those numbers, it's going to move a lot less easily. So that's something that it's good to know, but it's not really going to help you figure out which one's the best for you. So if you're starting off on a softer reed, how do you know which strength to go to? And beyond that, how do you know when you've gone too far? So I've got these three reeds. I have a very soft one. I'm not even going to tell you the numbers. I'm just going to play a one that for me in my mouthpiece and setup is very soft, one that is just right, and one that's too hard for me. And we're going to listen for the sound and feel differences between the three of them. So when I play this first reed, the really soft one, it feels okay. If I don't blow too hard, it actually gets an okay sound, although it is a little on the bright end from, for what I'd like. But if I really blow hard, I feel like it kind of closes up on me. It won't let me blow any harder. I can only get so far with it. Um, but otherwise, this one would be usable. And keep in mind, this is really dependent on yourself as a player, your physiology, and what mouthpiece you're using. Different mouthpieces are gonna suit different uh, strengths as well. That's why let's talk about whether it's soft or hard for your setup and how to know, but we're not going to talk about, hey, the best read is a three, because that's uh, such a subjective thing. That's why they have them in all these different strengths. So this one, a little soft. It's usable, but if I had to get a little bit louder or if I had to really push it, it might bottom out on me, and it's a little more bright and buzzy than I'd like with my setup. So let's move on to the one where I'd say for me it's, uh, it's sitting in pretty good shape. Alright, so for me, this one is in that just right category. I feel like it, it's a little, a little more meaty sounding, a little more full sounding than the really soft one. Uh, but it doesn't feel stuffy, it doesn't feel hard to play, and when I push it hard, it supports that airstream. It doesn't close up so I can play a little louder. And I can also just be a little more flexible on it. I could get a subtone a little easier, but when I really lean into it, I could get it brighter and louder. So for me, this is going into a gig or a performance or whatever, this uh, strength is kind of what I'd feel like. And this is just a Levaz medium, uh, but it also really depends on how long you've been playing the reed. And everyone in the box isn't going to be the same either. And you can get into reed adjusting and all that kind of stuff. But a big part of it is just being able to play through reeds, know if they're too hard, too soft, what strength affects you the best, uh, or affects your sound the best, and uh, get used to that sweet spot so you're not going way too hard or way too soft. So let's move on to this one, which is a bit too hard for me, and we'll see how that sounds. <laughs> All right, now this is the one to avoid. Did you hear how playing a way too hard read, my sound was stuffier, when I blow, it, there was a second before the note even responded, so it ruins my response. Sure, it has that resistance like the medium read, but it's too much resistance and a lot of work to play. So if I had to play on this read for a few hours, my phase would be about ready to fall off at the end of it. And that, I believe, is the lesson to learn from this is 
for me, I always tried to get to playing harder reads and, and power through it. And sure, you will build up strength and you will get where you can overcome a hard read. But there is a nice sweet spot where you get balance. You can get you can get brighter when you want to. You can get loud enough, but you can still get dark and pretty when you want to. And if you're constantly trying to have a contest of like, I'm going to play number four reads. Hey, if a number four read fits your setup, fits your embouchure, and uh, plays well for you, great. But don't feel like it's a contest. I know so many professional players who play on a two and a half, some who play on a two. So much of it has to do with the tip opening of your mouthpiece, uh, how much baffle is in there, the setup, and just your airstream. So the key is finding what's a good fit for you and what's comfortable for you. And don't ever feel like you need to go for super hard reads to get a good sound. But conversely, don't take it too easy on yourself. It's very easy to play on that first read I played. That soft read, piece of cake, I could play all night on it. But I didn't love my sound and it did limit me in some ways. I couldn't get as much fullness, I couldn't get as much volume, and with the resistance being so low, I wasn't able to get much flexibility in the sound. So it's all about balance. You want to have to work hard enough to get a big beautiful sound, but not so hard that you feel like your face is going to fall off. Anyway, if you have any questions about reeds or gear or any of that kind of stuff or just saxophone in general, as always, reach out to me in the comments below or find me. I'm Dave Strong. I'm at the sax shop at schmidtmusic.com. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Thanks.